How's she going to look? Is that a stupid question? And I ask that not to be flip. I actually ask it because it matters, and it really, really matters when it comes to women who sit at defendant's table. For this, I want to bring in Holly Coleman. She is the co-founder of Wall Street Prison Consultants and Pink Lady Prison Consultants. She spent 15 months in federal prison and two months in solitary. So a couple things I want to cover with you, Holly, and that is that it is no secret that women across the country in jail lockups don't often get access to normal cosmetics and hair care. And while that may sound silly, they look very, very different than they would look out on the street, and that can have an impact on jurors. So I actually do think it's important. Talk to me about the value of how an inmate gets into court for her trial if she doesn't have, you know, something to get rid of the gray or the roots or the frizzies. You do it the old-fashioned way, the old jail way. So when you're in solitary, and I presume that she is due to her classification level, but she still has access to pen and paper or pencil and paper. The pencil is going to be used for highlighter. She also will have magazines that she'll able, be able to thumb through. Believe it or not, take a little water and on top of that little red mark in the magazine becomes lipstick. You pencil on your eyebrows, and it's the old-fashioned way with the hair. It's same thing. She's going to rip up either some sheets or if she has a, the blanket can become unraveled. She'll wet her hair at night and tie it up old fashioned style, pull out the rags in the morning and she'll have curls in her hair, which you see there. So that is literally how it is done. A little water, literally. or lotion literally. and a magazine. And um, what do you use for a brush to put on the eyeliner? And how did she put on all the brown <laughs> eyeshadow? You, you have to do it by hand. Sometimes on commissary, you will be able to buy like Q-tips and that, but typically it's all done by hand. There are some jails I've heard of where you can get some rudimentary cosmetics, but most of the time I hear about women who are coming into a, a courtroom looking, you know, not their best. And I bring that up because when men walk into a courtroom, whether they have makeup or not, they look exactly the same as they would on the outside. And so this right. is a different way to view women. If you're a juror looking across the room, you don't know all of this. You don't know that that defendant doesn't have access to makeup right. or has had better days and isn't just looking like a scoundrel or the toughest lady on the cell block. Is that a, is that a, a sort of a, a real disadvantage to women when they're on trial? Oh, it is. It's the whole perception of it. Um, you're you're looking at somebody that, again, bringing you to that level that you could appear to, you know, be maniacal. Or you've. <laughs> I mean, it does it does impact severely. Um, I think it's truly unfair as well. Um, you need to be able to present your best self. And you don't you don't have that in jails. You're not going to get let that. Me, There's let, nothing on commissary. Let me read you something here. I just pulled up a study from Cornell University. It says that quote juries convict attractive people less often. That is true. According to another study, defendants wearing prison attire are convicted at a higher rate. That part I know. And typically, jurors do not see a defendant with a jail you know garb on. But here is sort of the mm -hmm. the, the devolution of Lori Vallow. Um, and I think you can probably read a little into to all of that. And the, the fairness, or else what some people out there might say is perfectly fair, um, of an appearance and the first impression a jury gets when they look across the room. What are your thoughts? I, I, like, again, I think what it is, is it is the first, first impression that they're going to get. Um, if you look completely disheveled, if you look where you remember she was deemed incompetent, now competent, to stand trial, the way she's still appearing. And remember, being in county jail for so long, she is starting to get more gaunt because of the food and because of everything. That is going to play into it as well. When you look disheveled and when you look emaciated and you don't, you look crazy, yet it's going to come across completely different and it will not necessarily give you a fair trial. So, Holly, you got to come back because I have so much more <laughs> I want to talk to you about, about all Love the that. tricks uh, inside lockup. It's just fascinating. What's that? Thank you for having me. I would oh love my to gosh, back. thank you for coming. And, and have a good weekend as well. We'll see you soon. You as well. Thanks. Thank you for watching.
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.